All right, shoulder day. So I've had some work done on my left shoulder, so it's sore right now. So I'm gonna be doing a band only workout. I'll take you through what I do, not only when I need a break, uh, you know, whether it's an injury, but it's also a great conditioning workout as well. Strengthen those rotator cuff muscles. So we're gonna be hitting the deltoids for a, from kind of some unique angles, some stuff that you really can't do with free weights. But the first thing, is working those rotator cuffs or at least warming them up. So it's something that I do every upper body workout, whether I'm doing chest, back, doesn't matter. So first thing here, elbows up at shoulder height, rotating backwards. I'll get about 12 to 15 of these in. And it's also a great way to start your shoulder workout. Gets everything nice and warm as well. But the most important thing is strengthening and conditioning those rotator cuff muscles. And unless you're doing specific things like this, it's easy for those smaller muscles to get neglected. And if we're doing a lot of bigger movements, especially compound movements, shoulder presses, so you get those bigger primary movers, like the deltoids getting bigger and stronger. And those smaller rotator cuff muscles, if they get neglected, you get this disparity between the two and that usually ends up leading to injury. So next one, external rotation and internal rotation. I don't like doing them separate and then you know left arm, right arm, it just takes too long, too much of a production. So. I'll grab either bands or a workout towel right here about elbow width apart if I tuck my elbows in toward my side and then using the other arm to create the resistance. Now we can do external and internal rotation all in one. So same thing, about 12 to 15 of these. you'll start to feel those firing up. All right, we're gonna transition. Last thing. So is my go-to on shoulder day. Same thing on chest day, actually. Just some quick shoulder circles, nice and slow and controlled. It's the same thing, about 12 forward. And then I'll transition to 12 backwards. I used to get super impatient with my workouts and never wanted to do any kind of warm up or any kind of conditioning. And it's just such a bad idea to go in there and jump into a hard workout cold. All right, rotating backward. All right, so instead of doing some isolation movements for middle delt, middle delt and rear delt, so middle delt, our isolation exercise would be a lateral raise, and for rear delt, we'd be doing a rear fly. We're gonna do everything with presses today, but because we can create resistance in different planes, with bands, we can actually get those middle delts and rear delts firing with some of our presses. So we're gonna be attacking the shoulder press from different angles. So first one, anchoring the band nice and low. We're gonna step back from our anchor point and you see it's probably about like a 45 degree angle there. So as we press up here, that band, is trying to pull our arm forward. So that's forcing middle delts and rear delts to fire a lot more than they would in a regular shoulder press. Typically in your standard like dumbbell shoulder press, 
60 plus percent anterior delt. Little bit of middle delt, very little rear delt. So this changes the dynamic. So again, pressing straight up. So that feels completely different than your standard shoulder press. So this is exercise number one. So we're gonna do three different movements and each is gonna hit those deltoids a little bit different. So 90 seconds rest in between, quick stretch. And just for fun, we'll actually rotate through them. So instead of doing three consecutive sets of the same exercise, we'll go from one to the next to the third exercise and then repeat the whole thing three times. All right. So I've got a second band, a lighter one anchored down here. So I'm going to switch to that one. And now bring this band across my body. Same thing about a 45 degree angle. So pressing straight up. And again, band's trying to pull my arm this way. So having to stabilize as we press. Hit the other side. Nice. So not only are we hitting the delts from these different angles, but now we're also having to stabilize. That means we're also using those stabilizer muscles, which are our rotator cuff. So now we're going to do the opposite. Instead of the band coming across our body, Actually, come out here. So the band's trying to pull our arm this way. So we're having to stabilize this way. I'm actually going to go with a heavier band. You're going to feel a little stronger with this angle.
Yeah. Nice. Two more. All right, so that's the rotation. So, kind of seen it. This is going to be the workout. I'm just going to repeat this whole thing two more times. So, if you want, you can stick around while I finish up. But, it's quick, easy, and very, very effective. All right, so come back to the first one. That's nasty. All right. Loosen up, shake it off, move to the second movement, coming across the body. And you'll have to Try different positions relative to your anchor point. You don't want to come too far opposite with it because that band's going to be coming across your chest and your face. So you want to try to be parallel or if anything, you can even open up just a little bit here. If you wanted to, you could even use some like fat grip style handles on it. I think it's a little more comfortable. Good stuff. Two more. That's nine. Ah, good. So sticking obviously to about 10 reps. So it's about as standard as it gets. Three sets of 10. Now, you can obviously step further away to stretch the band more, create more tension. But by doing so, you're also going to change the angle of that pull. Unless that be more to 45, it's gonna flatten out a little bit. So you're gonna feel 
that plane of resistance is more horizontal, so pulling your arm even more, forcing the middle and rear delt to fire a little bit more. So, you know, adjust your position there, and, uh, you know, you can kind of tweak it to your liking. Now the opposite. Now you could do this with the band in front of your forearm. You could also have it come behind and that'll change the dynamic as well. One more. Uh. One of the things I like about workouts like this is it's quick. You're not messing around, picking things up, setting up different things. It's all anchored in one spot, so you just rock through it. Make it short, make it sweet. Oh man. already two-thirds of the way done here just one more round of this and that's it you know the nice thing about the bands it just gives you another option there's just always going to be those times where you know you got something going on in the shoulder or your body's just feeling a little beat up. So it allows you to come in, get a good workout, really work the muscle, make it effective, but not aggravate that same issue as much. All right, last round. Home stretch. If you're using these, obviously make sure that the slit, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but make sure that's facing up. Five. 
Vers 9. Ah. It's feel good. It's a good burn. So you can see right now, bands coming across my chest, so that's I'm just going to turn into it a little bit. Last one. Mm. So remember, switch that heavier band. By the way, you could do this exact same thing with a cable machine and drop that trolley all the way down. It's not going to feel exactly the same, but definitely get a very similar effect. You know, even if you love moving heavy weight, you like doing military presses or heavy dumbbell presses, you should give it a try. I think you'll be pretty shocked at uh, what a great workout it is. Your delts will thank you. it. Whew. Now a lot of times on shoulder day I will squeeze in some trap work. You know even if it's just doing some upright rows I really don't do as many shrugs as I used to but right now the physical therapist forbid me from doing any kind of shrugs so I'm going to skip out on that today. Let's try to be smart about it. Usually I like to uh, ignore advice, bad habit of mine, but uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and uh, follow orders here because the shoulder issue has been going on way too long, so obviously I have to try something different, but that's, that's it. Quick, easy, super effective, so... We'll be back here on Monday for chest and tries. <laughs>